After losing eight of their last nine games, the last three in blowout fashion, including Sunday's pathetic 42-14 drubbing at the hands of the Atlanta Falcons at the Coliseum, where the team looked disorganized and unprepared, the Los Angeles Rams fired head coach Jeff Fisher Monday morning. I think when you look at our team having lost eight of the past nine, uh, some of the performances the past few weeks been a little bit more lopsided. I think that's what really tipped it. Coaches coach players play. You know, we out there playing, so it ain't the coaching, it's us. We got to just play better as a team, be more consistent, you know. You know, we, it's, it's on us. It's on us as players. I mean, it sucks. It's not It's not fun. And again, I think I think we let them down. I think it was our job to play better and, and be better, and um, we let them down. And that's the bottom line. We're just more disappointed in, in ourselves, you know, because we felt like we kind of let them down, you know, and you know, he can't go out on the field and play for us. You know, we we're the, we as the players are the ones that go out there and play. And, you know, when you don't win games, you know, people need somebody to blame for whatever reason. And, you know, like I said, Coach Fish stood up as a man and, you know, receptors accepted responsibility for us. And, you know, uh, like I said, man, it, it just sucks to see him leave. He gave us every opportunity to, to show out and, and, and for our bodies to feel good. I mean, he's a player's coach. Gave us every opportunity to take care of business and we didn't get it done. So, um, you know. Can't help but, you know, feel some type of responsibility. But uh, Seattle's not going to care how we feel. And the last, our last three opponents not going to care how we feel. We just know we got to go out and uh, keep playing, keep fighting, and uh, get better every week. This team is not where it needs to be. And we need to own up to that from a coaching perspective, from a personnel perspective, from an administration perspective. I think all of us need to, to get better. So with about 72 hours before the Rams are back on the field Thursday night in Seattle to take on the Seahawks, the Rams named special teams coach John Fossil as the interim head coach for the final three games of the regular season. Special teams, every time that ball gets punted or kicked, you know, you're there by yourself and you're saying, let's go boys, you know, go get it. So it's, and you're always kind of on the front lines and, you know, whether I'm ready for it or not, I'm going to kick ass and, you know, do what I got to do to help the team. I think as we looked at it from an organizational perspective on a short week, we have three games left. Uh, against the NFC West, uh, Seattle, San Francisco, Arizona. We're two and one in the division. This is a chance to finish strong in the NFC West, have the chance to have the best record you know, in the NFC West. And you wanted to see the players uh, come out on Thursday with energy. This is a short week, and, and we really felt that John Foss would be the right person in our organization to go lead this team for the last few weeks. Players coach, great coach. You know, he's going to push you. But at the same time, you have fun doing it. Among the names being brought up to fill the head coaching vacancy here for the Rams, how about Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh, his brother and current Baltimore Ravens head coach John Harbaugh, and Monday Night Football analyst and former Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach John Gruden. You can bet there will be more names surfacing to be the head coach of the Rams. Reporting from the Rams practice facility in Thousand Oaks, I'm Eric Geller for Open Season.